Here's how to make a slideshow in Scratch. We're really not going to use this sprite right now, but I will just leave it on the screen for fun. Uh, select the stage and go to backgrounds. And from here, you can import any images that you want in your slideshow. I've already prepared a directory of images. Um, I'm going to have to find it. Okay, here's my directory. I have three images. I'll bring this one in first. Now I'll just delete this uh, blank background here. Bring in another image. And if you have a um, Windows browser um, open, a Windows file browser, you can also drag and drop an image. And I will do that uh, for my last choice here. Let me put it where you can see it. I'll just drag it. And that works too. And now we can just go through these images one at a time. Let's put this under program control by writing a couple of scripts. We'll just get a green flag and use that to go to the our first image. Let's see which one is that. That's the one that's called image 4. Okay, that's fine. And now what we'll do is we'll use the space bar uh, to move between images. So we'll just use that to switch to the next background. And click the green flag to initialize. And now we get a new image every time I push the space bar. One more thing you can do, since as I mentioned before, when you're in the paint editor, any text you put on the image is completely separate from the image itself. So you can uh, move it around. So I'll create a caption for this. All right, it's a little hard to see, so I'll just change the color. That's better. Uh, let's make it yellow. And also, let's make it a little bigger. We can change the font. Uh, there are rather crazy variety of fonts, so I won't mess with that. But let's make the, the size a little bigger. And grab the handle here and move it. And there we go. And if we ever want to change that, we can do it uh, once again. The, uh, the text editor is independent of the image itself. So we can uh, always change that without messing up the image. And there you go.